Hello everybody, welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH and let me just give you some quick techniques and tips in answering multiple choice problems. In accounting and in the course of your study in accounting, you will really encounter a lot of multiple choice problems. So let me just give you some techniques and tips in answering those and how to ace examinations in accounting. Before anything else, may I please ask you to like, share, and subscribe to Search US Accounting Lessons PH and hit the notification bell button to alert you of the latest video lessons. And for all of your questions, comments, and suggestions, please put them down in the comments section below and for any message that you want to send to me send it to kevin troy the chua 1994 at gmail.com okay so thank you for your utmost support for sir chua's accounting lessons ph and may these videos continue to help students in their online learning and academic development and may these videos continue to help teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies okay so what about multiple choice problems in preparation for the big battle of accountancy students, the CPA licensure examination, you will go through a lot of training in answering multiple choice questions. The current CPA licensure examination is purely multiple choice. Test questionnaires are provided with scannable answer sheets. Each subject in the CPA examination runs for three hours. These techniques and tips will help you ace answering multiple choice questions. Well, actually the real battle, which is the CPA licensure examination, is pure multiple choice. Unlike in the past, sa mga dati pong kapanahuna ng CPA board exam, eh talagang hindi pa naman po multiple choice noon. But with the onset of technology and now that we have computer scanners that can help us in uh, correcting and checking the examinations, uh, through the years, naging purely multiple choice na po ang CPA board exam and scannable answer sheets na po yung ginagamit, shade-shade na po tayo ng letter answers. Okay, so basically since the CPA board examination is in multiple choice format, you should be able to acquaint yourself and to practice yourself how to properly answer multiple choice questions. Dun po sa mga nasa higher accounting na, sanay na sila dyan. But if you are an ABM student in senior high school who na gusto pong mag-accountancy, or if you are in your first or second year in accountancy, then I think this video is for you. Okay? But for those who are in higher accounting, I think that these tips would still be very, very helpful for you. Okay. Technique and tip number one is nothing beats a thorough preparation of the lesson before any examination. Wala pong makakatalo taman talaga sa tama at masipag na pag-aaral. And you can only ace an examination if nag-aaral ka naman talagang mabuti. Okay? Kasi ganito po ang formula dyan. Kahit anong tanong ang iba to sa'yo kung maayos ang naging pag-aaral mo at talagang marami kang naaral at naaral mo lahat ng kailangan mo kahit anong bato sa'yo ng kahit anong tanong, kaya mo yung sagutin. Because you are prepared. Sa isang laban, kailangan prepared ka. At ang laban mo ay ang exam. So, anong bala mo para dun sa exam na yun? Siyempre, yung knowledge na meron ka galing sa pag-aaral na ginawa mo. Nothing beats a thorough preparation of the lesson before any examination. And actually, this tip does not just apply to us in accountancy. Sa lahat ng field of study, nothing beats a thorough preparation for an examination, kundi ang pag-aaral mismo. Tip number two, ito ay specific sa pagsagot nyo ng exam. Read the main question requirement first before the details of the problem itself. Wala pong problema maging detail-oriented. Wala pong problema na you will look into the totality of the question in order for you to understand it. However, the best technique that you can apply, more so that we have limited time in answering questions, is to made uh, sorry to read first the main question requirement. Babasahin niyo muna yung hinahanap sa tanong bago niyo basahin yung detalye. 
For example, ang haba-haba ng problem halos kalahati ng ban paper. Binasa mo agad lahat. Tapos ang tanong lang pala, how much is the total cash and cash equivalents? E binigay sa'yo listahan ng assets ang dami-dami. May computation pa ng depreciation. O ba diba, sayang yung oras. Yung oras na sana magagamit mo pa sa ibang tanong. ba diba, medyo sayang yung oras kapag ka ganun. So basically, the best technique para makasave ka ng time sa answering ng problems is is to read first the main question requirement. Pero syempre, babalansehin mo pa rin. Kailangan mo pa rin mag-ingat sa mga detalye because there are some details na hindi agad dun sa mga lines nung detalye na kalagay. And sometimes there are really problems na kailangan mong basahin yung buong problem in order for you to answer the question. So, have a perfect balance of it. Step number three or technique number three practice makes perfect. Ang pagsagot po ng multiple choice questions ay dapat pinapractice. Okay? Well, um, wala naman talagang uh, anything na perfect. But, um, your uh, to be acquainted with uh, the multiple choice questions would really require you practice and practice and practice in order for you to be familiarized and to be very very good in answering multiple choice questions you should really practice and practice and practice and in relation to number three is my tip number four practice speed and accuracy hindi po pwedeng puro speed lang mali mali naman ang sagot hindi rin naman po pwedeng puro tama ang sagot wonderful computations medyo mabagal naman tayo remember the average number of minutes that you can answer one uh, item in the problem is 3.6 minutes saan po nang galing yung basis na yon? for example 3 hours po ang exam at binigyan kayo ng 50 problems so 180 minutes divided by 50 problems is 3.6 minutes per question item per item per item number. So, parang medyo mabilis masyado yung 3 minutes, ba? Kaya, sa pagsasagot natin ng multiple choice questions, make sure that in your examination and in your preparation for the examination, you are practicing speed and accuracy. Hindi po dapat uh, tama na mabagal at hindi na naman po mabilis pero mali-mali naman. Dapat tama at mabilis. Sabi nga nun dati kong, dati na, dati kong boss yung dati naming program head sa accountancy. Di baling tama, basta mabilis. Siyang nagsabi nun. Kasi nga, sa pagsasagot ng accounting, kailangan tama at kailangan mabilis. Technique number five is, do not settle on only one review material. The more, the better, the merrier. Bakit? Makikita mo yung different perspectives ng different authors kung paano po magsagot ng problem. Lalo na pag gumagamit po kayo ng mga CPA reviewer books. No? Don't only settle on one review material. Minsan naiintindihan ko kayo parang medyo komportable kay sa author na to kasi ang galing ng explanation niya unlike the other one parang medyo hindi nyo siya gamay but try to open up yourself on different authors so that you can get different perspectives and then that's uh, where you get more knowledge and that's where you get more information Technique number six is during studying, try different methods and techniques in solving the problem and choose the most perfect fit for you. Kasama po ito sa pagpa-practice makes perfect natin, no? Kaya po talagang mahalaga ang practicing sa pagsasagot ng multiple choice problems. It's because nakikilala mo yung sarili mo bilang studyante. What is the proper technique that I should use in these types of problems? And as you go forward with your practice, you determine and you can always choose the most perfect fit, the most perfect methodology in yourself in answering the question. And last tip number seven is syempre Ask for God's guidance, wisdom, and strength. Dito, walang makakatalo talaga. Dahil ang Diyos natin, makapangyarihan. Always ask for His guidance before, during, and after the examination. 
wisdom sa lahat ng bagay, hindi lang sa accounting. And syempre, strength because Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, we can do all things through Christ who will give us the strength to face everything. Diba? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Diba? Okay? So, yun lang po yung aking 7 techniques and tips. So, pa-subscribe naman. Tapos, pakishare siya sa inyong mga uh, classmates. And then, hit the notification bell button para alam nyo pag may bago akong upload. And then, comment lang kayo ng mga gusto nyong sabihin. And send me a message pag may kailangan kayo sa akin. Okay? So, this has been Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. And to God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Maraming salamat po. As of the time of recording, we now have 5,800 plus subscribers. And just a little update lang po. FABM1 is completed. FABM2, we're halfway there. I'm now preparing for the second quarter lessons like FS Analysis, Bank Reconciliation, and Income Taxation. And uh, I also open up the channel for college lessons for Cost Accounting and Control and Intermediate Accounting 1. Maraming salamat po sa inyo pong suporta sa Search Was Accounting Lessons PH. Thank you and have a great day. Love you!